Hey guys, welcome back to another action figure review. Today we're checking out the Jon Stewart Green Lantern by McFarlane Toys. On the back of the package we have a more modern comic artwork of the Green Lantern, along with some promotional art of the other characters in the series. On the side we have the name of the figure along with DC Rebirth, the series where these comics took place. McFarlane figures are easy to remove from the package without having to rip anything. And like other McFarlane releases, you'll have to cut open the package to get the stand and the collectible card out. This version of Green Lantern is based on the 2018 Justice League comic book. This Green Lantern is played by Jon Stewart, the third human to ever wear the Green Lantern ring. Jon was a former US Marine and architect who was chosen by the Guardians of the Universe to be a backup Green Lantern when Hal Jordan was out of action. As time went on, John has proved himself with his leadership and tactical genius, eventually rising to become the leader of the Green Lantern Corps. Green Lanterns fight evil with the aid of their rings, that grant them ability to fly and create whatever constructs they can imagine. John Stewart having an architectural mind can create more complicated constructs and chooses to not hide his identity with a mask. Let's check out the details. John's head has a stern look on his face with his brow sculpted in an angry look. We can see his bright green eyes as a side effect from his ring's powers. We have a clean style haircut, a style commonly worn by men in the military. On the side of the head we can see the ear sculpting and more of that short hair. On the chest we have a green translucent armor protecting the chest along with the green lantern symbol at the center. The armor is detailed with plates of armor and other small panels. Underneath we have a tight undersuit with more panels of armor over the muscle. On the back we can see more of that glowing green armor along with the hole in the center that we will cover up later with an accessory. On the arms we have a green gauntlet ending in black gloves. We can notice a tiny green lantern ring sculpted onto the figure's finger. The waist shows more of that under armor with large panels protecting the body. The armor here only covers the muscle making the suit look more flexible. On the thighs we can see the armor suit opens up with black fibers letting the legs stretch and the armor resembling the muscles of the body. John's boot reach ups to his knees in green leather. We notice some detail here like the texture of the boot along with some reinforced sections. We finish up the figure with the boots, green with more padded areas and layers to protect the toes. Let's check out the articulation. We have a ball jointed head, arms that open, the chest armor does restrict the articulation but is soft enough to bend out of the way. The arms rotate fully, a rotating bicep, double jointed elbows, wrists that rotate and bend up and down, a ball jointed chest. The waist is made of a soft plastic giving you a bit more articulation in this area. Legs that open and move forward and back, thighs that rotate, double jointed knees, ankles that bend up and down and rotate, and toes that bend up. We get a green see-through backpack that has a peg in the back to socket onto the figure. Installing the backpack is easy, just peg the backpack into the socket on the back. It fits tightly into place. We get a large detailed machine gun. It's a see-through green like all the other powers. It's possible to remove the body armor by removing the head and then sliding the armor off. This gives the figure a more classic look without any special effects. We also get a collectible card with some information on the Green Lantern on the back. And we get the standard McFarlane stand with the DC logo on it. This Green Lantern figure is incredibly well made, McFarlane did a great job. The likeness to the comic is spot on and there's a ton of detail in the sculpting of the armor. We have lots of points of articulation giving us a good range of motion to pose this figure in. The joints really feel solid when posing. For the accessories we get a machine gun along with the backpack and chest armor that gives off the lantern effect very well. The clear green plastic really makes this figure stand out especially in good lighting. With the chest armor being removable it's a nice way to change up how you display the figure bringing more value to the poses you can do. Overall Jon Stewart is a great figure by McFarlane. The joints click into place, the figure feels really solid and looks great. If you're a fan of the green lanterns McFarlane did a great job bringing this figure to life with the excellent sculpting and accessories. He's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan of the DC Universe. Alright guys, that's it for this review. More reviews are coming up soon, so check out my other videos while you wait.